Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Artifice decks from Illusionist.com. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the Artifice decks. They're pretty much uh, Illusionist flagship deck. Uh, whenever they do gas or do special things, uh, they always make sure that there's an Artifice card included uh, in that. And so these are actually the second series. Uh, I have the second series, and you can tell because there's a white border on the back of the cards. The very first series sold out like crazy. Uh, everybody loved them, and so uh, those cards actually had no border. They were borderless, or they were a casino uh, design where they went all the way to the edges, a full bleed, if you will. And so when they released the second series, uh, they added a border to them uh, to make some uh, magic tricks uh, more effective. Hey, if you want to know what the very first series Artifice decks look like, uh, Illusionist put an ad card for the Black Club in their deck, and so in that there's a sample card of the gold Artifice deck, and you can see how uh, the, with the white border gone, and that design element is pushed all the way to the edges, it also makes for a very attractive card. But that's how you'll know between the first series and the second series, if you ever see these for sale, is one has a border and one does not. All right, so these were designed by some of Illusionist's top designers. You have people like Jason Brumbelow, Lee McKenzie, and Carlos Batlow. Uh, they also consulted with a lot of other magicians, people like Daniel Madison and uh, Lee Asher, uh, just to figure out like what would be uh, some of the coolest things to stick in a deck of cards, and Illusionists uh, listened to all those tips, and they tried to do as much as they could to place them into this. Of the second series, I only have two colors. I have the Cobalt Blue and the Emerald Green, and for the sake of this deck review, we'll be looking at the Blue deck. So, like I said, these come in a variety of colors. I'm going to look at the blue, just for the sake of this deck review. It just says Artifice across the front, and you have a lot of like Baroque imagery. Uh, it's not really paisley, but it's kind of like just a, a really rich ornamental pattern uh, in the background there. The sides say Artifice Playing Cards and Performance Coding, and the other side says the United States Playing Card Company. The bottom has the Illusionist Eagle and some ad copy there. And the top has some Latin. The inside tuck flap says Artifice Produced by Illusionist. And then you have little stars right there on each one of the little tuck flaps. Well, that is pretty much it for your tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company, and they are done on their B casino grade stock, which means they're thicker, more durable, they will last you longer. They do have air cushion embossing, and they have magic finish. Uh, Illusionist calls magic finish performance coating, uh, but it's magic finish. And so if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design is really simple. It's also very elegant. There's like a star pattern there in the center, and then you have uh, just a really simple drawn border on the top, bottom, and sides. And then you have that beautiful cobalt blue there in the background, kind of like a haunting uh, deep wallpaper. With this deck, you're gonna get a couple of things. Uh, first, you're gonna get your double backer, which is great for magic tricks. Also, you're gonna get two jokers. It's kind of a, a busker gentleman uh, with his back to you. Uh, in one joker, he has his hand behind his back, and in the second one, he's doing a card reveal. And you're also gonna get an illusionist ad card. Your Ace of Spades is a really large exploded pip. Uh, it's ribbon on either side forming a spade in the center and it says Artifice there at the bottom. All your pips and indice cards are unique, both in style and font and color. Uh, everything was looked at with this deck and tried to uh, just kind of readdress the standard deck and make an original deck for Illusionist. You also notice the court cards are also unique. They have uh, very familiar faces and maybe uh, the weapons they're holding, some of the clothes they're wearing, but the colorings and the caricature are completely redrawn for this deck. Well, that is it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.